Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue understanding that that number, let's say 72, is a number that can be torn apart into two parts, into the tens and the ones. For example, 72 can be torn apart so that you get a 70, as in seven tens, and a two, as in two ones. So you've got that 72 broken apart into two pieces, 70 and two. And then from that, we want students to understand that we can now say, well, that's 70 plus two, that's two plus 70. Uh, we could say things like, um, two more than 70 is 72. Or we can say 72 is 70 more than two. So we want students to be really flexible with understanding that that number, 72, can be broken apart and then it can be described as a variety of different addition sentences. So let's get started. So putting all that into practice, <clears throat> we've got here it says count the objects and fill in the number bond or place value chart. All right, so at this point we don't have a place value chart, we just have the number bonds, although I am gonna show you what that place value chart might look like. So uh, the first thing is we really want our students to kind of understand this convention that uh, and it's like a promise that we are making to our students that whenever they see a bunch like this, a bunch, we kind of, our, our promise to our students is that, that that's always going to be 10, all right? Now, some students who might be resistant to just, take, you know, buying into that convention. So parents and teachers, if you really want, or if students really need, let them count and, and verify that this really is a bundle of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And, uh, but ultimately, <clears throat> we want our students to buy into um, <clears throat> the convention and and it's okay to buy into a convention that's a that's like a promise that we're making our students I'm not asking them to blindly follow some sort of math algorithm it's a it's a convention that we're asking so if we know that this is 10, 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 and this is 10. How many 10s do we have? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 7 10s. So that makes this number right here 70. All right, so we can put in 70, and we could put it either in the top or the bottom. It does not matter because addition is commutative, but we'll learn that later. And then let's count the ones, and we see that we have six ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna record that right here. So now we get 70 and six make, so what do we have all together? Well, we have 76 all together, and seven plus six is 76. <clears throat> so if we wanted to show what that would look like in our place value chart, so the place value chart is gonna say, well, we've got our place value chart, and we're gonna say we have our tens here, and we have our ones here. The question is, how many tens do we have? We have seven tens. <clears throat> and then how many ones do we have? We have six ones. So our number is seven tens and six ones, which is 76. Seven tens plus six ones. All right, oops, I should put that right there too, huh? I should put 76 right there. Good. So if we want to take a look at this one, let's let's do it. So again, we have that convention. We want to promise our students that anytime they see a bundle, it's going to be 10. So we've got one, two, three, four. So we've got four bundles of 10. So that makes it 40. 
And then how many ones do we have? We see that we have five ones here. So we're gonna label that as a five. And again, I could have put the 40 on the top or the 40 on the bottom and then reverse the five. Um, <clears throat> I chose the, to do it this way. And so what is our whole? Our whole is 45. So one part is 40, one part is five, and the whole is 45. So it's that classic part, part, whole as well, parents and teachers. Uh, so what is this, 40 and five make? Well, we already have it. It's 45. So we do want students to be connecting this number bond with a, a what is, a, well, there, here is an, a number sentence. We do want students to be connecting those two concepts. And there you go. Now, if we wanted to do a place value chart, much like we did over here, let's do it. We'll grab our black ink, and there is our beginnings of our place value chart and we'll put in tens and ones. Parents and teachers, I like causing our students to uh, write the words tens and ones. So we don't have to give it to them because if we give it to them, we're removing them uh, an opportunity for them to learn it. So make them write in their own words, tens and ones, and first graders can definitely do that. So how many tens do we have? We have a 10 here, a 10 here, a 10 here, a 10 here, so that's four 10s. And how many ones do we have? We have five, so it's, our number is 45. We've got a couple more. We're just kind of removing the scaffolding. You'll notice we've got some more blank spaces, which is kind of cool. So we're kind of gradually increasing what our students are responsible to do. We're going to begin by counting our 10s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight tens so that makes 80 and again I put it up there I could have put it down here how many ones do we have we have four and I'm gonna put it right there which means we have 84 so we have 80 plus 4 is 84 and then from that place value kind of hearkening back to that place value chart how many tens do we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight tens so I'm going to put eight tens and four ones gives us 84. So remember, if you need to, you can hearken back to that tens and ones, and you can say, well, we have eight tens and four ones like that. And that's what this is connecting to. The cool thing about this is that they've switched the order. <clears throat> And so they've put the ones kind of on the left and the tens on the right. And then, but the place value chart still sticks to that, con the convention, the rule of ones and tens. So the tens are always to the left in the place value chart. But in the picture, man, we can move them all over the place. So how many tens do we have? We have five tens. So we're going to put the five right there. And then how many ones do we have? We have six ones, so our number is 56, all right? <clears throat> Connect that to the number bond over here if you wanted to. Students could say, well, let's make that number bond if you wanted to. And you could say, well, there's our 50 and our six, so we get 56. But we're connecting it to that place value chart. The rule, though, is you'll notice the ones are on the left, but we put the ones on the right. Parents and teachers, pay attention to that. Don't let your students switch this around because while addition is commutative, this is not. So what do we mean by that? Well, down here, students are likely to put 50 plus 6 is 56, although technically, if they wanted to put 6 plus 50, they could. All right, but following convention, we're going to kind of put the 50 plus 6. You don't need to tell students are wrong if they put 6 plus 50. We're just going to, by convention, we're going to kind of nudge our students towards convention. And then how many tens? We have five tens. How many ones? We have six ones, so we get 56. And then this one is we're just kind of removing the scaffold of like numbers and now we're kind of making it more abstract using base 10 blocks 
And so these are tens, and again, your students may need to count them. So hopefully by this point in first grade, our students have had plenty of experience playing with base 10 blocks anyway. Uh, but let's count. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven groups of 10. So we have seven tens, and then we have one, two, three, four, five ones. So we have seven tens, five ones. So following that convention, we're going to put 70 plus 5 equals 75. And then again, down here, how many tens do we have? We have 7 tens, and we have 5 ones, which gives us 75. And that wraps up. A fun one, first grade module six, lesson four. We are taking those two digit numbers and we are breaking them apart into addition sentences of, in this case, the tens plus the ones. So you got like, in, in this case, we've got 70 plus two.